Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about index match function in Excel. But before that, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Also, if you're a professional with minimum one year of experience and an aspiring data analyst looking for online training and certification from the prestigious universities in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in data analytics from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM is just what you need. For more details, head straight to our homepage and search for data analytics postgraduate program from Purdue University or simply click on the link in the description box below. Now without further delay, let's get started with our one point agenda that is index match function in Excel. So what exactly is index match function in Excel? So index match function is one of the Excel's most powerful features, the older brother of much used VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP function. And index match allows you to look up values in table based on the rows and columns. Unlike VLOOKUP, it can be used on rows and columns both at the same time. So if you have already used VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP, you know that VLOOKUP functions from left to right, not from right to left. And there are some drawbacks in both VLOOKUP and edge lookup and we also have got x lookup to overcome those but uh, one other healthy alternative to x lookup is index match so that's exactly what we are going to discuss today so let's get back to the practical mode so now we are on the practical mode so for the demo here we have employee id name and designation department salary employee date of birth and date of joining so we will use index match function in excel to extract the salary of an employee based on the employee id given here so first we have to use the index function so index function is like your coordinates right so you have to know where your result is so since we are looking for salary it's in the e column give the column number e now it needs it has the location where your answer is but it needs the exact coordinate where is that particular you know that row and column intersection point and from that particular cell it will extract the required result so to give that you can give it manually so here you have the row number and column number so let's say we wanted the salary of uh, employee number 10023 so we will be giving the row number as 30 right so this is possible because we have a small data set but what if we had a bigger data set which had thousands or lakhs of rows so you needed some automated method to give you the row number based on the match right so that's where exactly the match function comes into picture now we will give the match function and now the lookup value so where do you want to look up right so this is where we have the employee id which is j1 right this is the cell where we will be writing the uh, employee id and the index function will look for the match and match function will look up the lookup value in this particular location that's the lookup value and now the lookup array now the employee ids are present in the first column which is a column right so this is the lookup array you will give okay so this will be the lookup array that you will be given select that and comma you will be providing the exact match bracket close another bracket close enter now enter the now enter the employee id so select any of the employee ids and there you go you have the salary details over here this is fine but what if let's say i have given the employee numbers here and uh, i wanted their other details let's say i wanted to know their name Pro. and now i wanted to know their designation senior i wanted to know their salary i want to know their department i wanted to know their uh, date of birth and date of joining okay so here you might want to change the data type here so it will it is currently general if you change it to date and time you will be getting the exact result right so uh, what if you wanted to do that is it possible yes it is possible it is again comes back to the same index match but you need to pass another extra match parameter here so how to do that let's do it so here everything will be same equals to 
index and now we will be giving the employee id right so it's based on employee id first so um, now close that we will be calling the match function and now the match function will also look for the employee id this is fine and now the lookup array so the lookup array for the employee numbers is again a this is fine now the exact match select zero and close the function now comes the critical part another match function right so it wants the match based on the lookup value present over here right so select that and what all the other column names you have which are these right so give all the column names comma again you want an exact match close another close bracket enter yeah we made a small mistake so when you see at index right we knew that the answer what was supposed to be coming was only employee id but here we i mean the answer what we are expecting can be anywhere right it can be an employee id it can be an employee name right if we provide employee name the answer from should be coming from column b right so we have to change the index from a to entire g now we have the full scale data set entered into the formula if you press enter now you have the answer now let's say i'm changing the employee id to 116 and now i want employee designation there you go right if you go to 116 you have martha and the designation is contract based and if you want to know which department martha is working with then you have the department as analytics which is right over here so that's how the index match function works for more details or any other help required from this particular tutorial please feel free to let us know and with that we have come to an end of this session on index match function in excel if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the data set or any other resources used in this session please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to help you as soon as possible until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career we've got you covered Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.